Hey guys, John Cannon for JJ DJ Entertainment. Wanting to give you guys a quick tip here on OSX Mavericks um, and Show Express. Now, at the time of this video, Chave hasn't announced um, compatibility with OSX Mavericks, but I know if you're like me, you guys have a trigger finger and you want the new operating system. So, on my main gate computer, I still run the, the previous version of OSX. OS X, um, but on my, my desktop, I went ahead and upgraded to Mavericks. Now, there is an issue with Mavericks and Show Express. One of the new features of Mavericks is a feature called AppNap. Um, now, it works really well for the average computer user because what it does is if you have, let's say, iTunes open or you have another program, maybe you have Word open and you open up Safari to browse the internet, well, instead of the computer you know, giving resources to iTunes and Word, it'll go ahead and cut some of those resources out and give you more power to, you know, browse the web or do something else um, instead of having those, those resources allocated to something you're not using at that particular moment. And the way that works is it, it gives, it, base, it bases it off what's on the front of your screen. So if, if behind this window I have something else, it's going to cut the resources from that program. Um, I noticed this with Final Cut Pro. I was trying to do some video editing, and when I was getting to the point of um, trying to upload the footage onto YouTube and Facebook, you know, I didn't want to sit there and watch paint dry as it, you know, rendered and uploaded everything. So I just went ahead and, you know, set it to render, and I went to go browse on Facebook or I went to do emails or something, and I would notice that it, it would constantly fail at trying to, to upload to YouTube. And what it was, it was because of AppNap. Um, and same deal for, for Chave Show Express. If, if you have Show Express open and running, it, it works fine. But if you open up Serato or if you go to another program and Show Express isn't the main program you're working on, what happens is, is it puts it into, into AppNap. And it'll just pretty much cut the, um, cut the signal to the USB. And, you know, you don't have DMX signal all, all of a sudden and your lights go haywire. So it's a really quick fix. Um, and it, it, it's working extremely well for everyone else I know that has done this. Um, so I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to, how to just disable AppNap for Show Express. Now you have to open up your Finder and go to your Applications. Find the Show Express folder, go ahead and open that up. Now Control Board is where you go to to open the actual program. So what you can do is right click on that and click Get Info. Now it'll open up this little pop-up window and um, all you have to do is put a checkbox here right at Prevent App Nap. And once you do that, close it, you can go ahead and open up Show Express and it'll it'll work fine. And you'll be able to run things in the background and um, have Show Express run in the background. Maybe if you use your, your Show Express with, with Serato um, and you need to toggle between windows like that, you, you can without having to worry about um, any, type of, any type of issues with, with App Nap. Now, I haven't used Serato. I know I know. I just mentioned that. I haven't used Serato with OS X Mavericks, so I don't know the compatibility, and if using AppNap, disabling that helps Serato. So but if you're using that, you could try it. Like I said, I found that you know with Final Cut Pro, I was having that particular issue as well. So by doing the little, the, um, checking out the box for AppNap, it was able to fix that for me. So if you run into any issues with your programs, they're, they're not working correctly when you're, you know, going to other windows or and so forth. Try disabling AppNap for them. It, it may it may help you out. So that is my tip for you guys. Hopefully it helps you and hand, um, takes care of any issues you may be having with Show Express as you, as you have been migrating to OS X Mavericks. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, leave them below under the YouTube video. Or you can always join up on the Chave Show Express and Lighting Facebook group. Just go to Facebook, do a quick search for Chave Show Express and Lighting, um, and and you know send a join request into the uh, the group. Do me a favor though, because it's happened before. Do not find me on Facebook and find my number, then call me randomly with Show Express questions. I'd rather you know, post it up on the group that way everybody can get the answer, and we, we'll go from there. Cool. All right, guys. Practice. Enjoy. Make your lights blink, flash, throw, whatever it is you guys do. See ya.